Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Hi Fi Podcast. Hi Fi at the Dark. I'm your host, Malcolm from Malcolm and Mary, and today we're going to take a peek at some beautiful products on the shelves of Hi Fi. I'm joined by my coworkers and colleagues as always. Thank y'all, and welcome in, Hetty and Camille. What are we trying tonight on the podcast? We're going to be smoking the Sour Berry by Lilac City Garden. Ooh. Ooh. I'm excited. Nice. Okay. It's on a scale from one to ten. That's a nine. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. That's super loud. It smells wonderful. Definitely very, very citrusy. Okay. I can still smell it, even though like my nose isn't in it. I'm gonna mm. shine a light on it just to, to see. And for a gram, there's like three decent sized nuts in there. Okay. But, okay. Uh, it. You can see the turkey. She's very pretty. Beautiful. There's orange. There's purple. There's green. Okay. Okay. How would what would you give that moisture out of ten? Maybe five. Okay. Maybe a four point five. Okay. Okay. You know, it's it's pretty squishy, but it just it does bounce. It does bounce back. <laughs> okay. 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 A little crumbly. There's a lot of orange hairs. It's, okay. it's very keepy. It's coming off all over my fingers. Ah, okay. And what are we smoking this one out of? We will be grinding her up and smoking them out of a bog tonight. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. And that's a sour, sour berry from Lilac. Mm-hmm. And that one is the most top shelf option we have in flower. Um, or at least they're at the furthest end of the top shelf. So hopefully, you know, the, that rings true in effects and uh, quality. I'm really excited to see what you think about that one. Sour berry is a strain I've never tried. I don't think I've tried it from Lilac City before. So we'll see what that's all about. Um, and then thank you, Hedy and Camille. And then Chuck Light, what are we trying tonight? I'm doing the Zope from Doghouse, but I haven't done mine yet. Okay, then I'll do the, uh, the native. Uh, but I don't know what strain it was because I don't have the box. It is the uh, Dosi. Let's see. I want to say Dosi Do. Let's see. Nope. Velvet Rose. And they have that labeled as their indica dominant from native. For Malcolm. Try the sour berry mix with some Hindu Kush and then thank me later. I don't mix strains. I, I listen, I know how you feel about Hindu, but I'm telling you, just try it one time. <laughs> I don't know, Chuck. All right, fair. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> okay. But this break roll is really, really nice. There's not a single crease in this. Nice. The crunch is a little on the tight side, so I feel like air flows when you roll. Okay. Restricted. I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to cut it like. Just a little bit off of here to get a better airflow, but we're gonna run with it on natural routes. You know, see what happens with it. Okay. No flavor at all. <laughs> 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 
But now this is, so this is a pack. They come four in a pack. They're in the more budget side of the pre-roll packs. Now the competition is Kelso Creeper. You got Evergrow. You got Doc and Yeti. Some great names. Um, you know, and high guys, of course. But now when you, when you look at that, those are, those are half grams um, or 0.75 grams. Now the box is over there. But anyways. Okay, now Chuck. Have you tried anything from Nada before? Never. Okay. Okay. So well. This will be my first impression. Okay. Okay. I hope it's a good one. Yes, as do I. I've also never tried Native. Hetty, have you tried na Native? I haven't. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I have it. I think they're anonymous up low, though. I could be wrong. I, I think I saw that on the on the tag. You have to check the box though. Let's see. Pull in the box. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, so this is Indica Native Herb Co. But they don't tell me what this is. No, it doesn't say it? No. I, I could have just been been lying to all of you. Oh wait. <laughs> Anon Anonymous Buffalo? I believe so. Beautiful. It definitely says it on it on the bottom oh, side. It does? Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes. Okay. Anonymous Buffalo. Okay. All right, well, we'll see. We shall see. Um, I, anonymous. I can't, I don't know. I, I haven't tried for sure. Yeah, they just pop out a lot. Maybe I've done some different other producer processes. Okay. Like, like cowlitz or. What it is under this name and brand, we shall try it and rate it under native. Um, okay, and then Chuck, I, I, I'm very eager to see what you think. I'm very eager to see what you think. Okay. Okay, and then um, this is the Zophie from Dogstar. And Zope is a strain we have tried on the podcast before. In all honesty, I don't know that I've seen it looking this beautiful. This is such a nice gram. That bag has four very decent sized nugs in it. Um, really filled. This little guy is in the top shelf as Doghouse typically is. Although Doghouse is in the top shelf, they usually are worth it. You know, definitely usually worth it. Got our little strips as well. Easy to peel out that gram. Doghouse, thank you for putting your grams, eights and quarters in plastic bags. The good stuff goes. It doesn't matter whether it's in a jar or not. If it's gonna, if it's fresh and it looks great, it's gonna get sold. Um, so big shout out to y'all. And they're also pesticide free as well. Nice little testament to that. Let's get into this terpene profile, y'all. So as I crack this bad boy open, hmm, very mild. I get a tiny bit of creaminess. And some sweet pine, but that's it. I'm going to say, oh, I'll actually do it in that reverse order. Sweet pine and then cream. And it's not really a buttery. It's definitely more of that kind of cream uh, scent to it. And then really nothing else. I don't really get too much else. Maybe a little floral, but that's about it. And as we look at this little guy in the camera, they really do look really nice. I'm very, very pleased. Uh, I said I'm very pleasant. I'm very pleased um, with these nugs. The bounce back on them is great. Wow, the density on it. And as I squeeze it and give it a smell, not much is changing. Um, but density on these, I'm going to give it a very, very solid 9.5 out of 10. Moisture on these, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. Doghouse curing process is just perfect. Um, as far as the um, loud scale, I'm going to give this a very solid 6 out of 10. 
it's nothing too crazy but i'd like if you put that in a bag and cover my eyes i would still know it was weed but it might take me a couple guesses um now we're smoking this on a streamlined ska got the little bubbler here um, we're going to go ahead and grind this down and see what this is working with um, i'm really excited big shout out to everybody that came in the high five today big shout out to high five supply as always a wonderful 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 day great money day um had a blast um a big shout out to robinson for not taking our tips and helping out when needed uh, we appreciate him <laughs> um i can say that because he always says he's going to get on the podcast and never gets on so thank you robinson we really appreciate you that seven day in my pocket was lovely um, and we, you know, it's something you can get used to, you know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, um, big shout to Doghouse. Once again, this is the soap. And I'm assuming that this is something, you know, after the soap strain, um, which we have tried on here from Exotics. And that one had a, a much different, also Dog Star has a soap as well, or the soap. So those definitely exuded that more kind of fresh soapy bubbly white dove kind of smell this one does not so we're going to see what this is all about go ahead and break this bad boy down grind it up let's see let's see let's see here we go let's see if i can get a little bit more smell out of this bad boy it is a little bit more smell and it's sour there's definitely a sourness coming through now it's definitely more sour then it is sweet, which is unique. Um, but it really, that sourness has just replaced the sweetness when it came to the pine. And also, big shout out to Nala, our lovely Mastiff Pitbull puppy that keeps coming in and blessing our hearts. She is quite the buttups. And we love her and wishing her nothing but the best and all success in her dog training to come in the next weeks. Now... Um, Hetty and Camille, how are we feeling so far on those first hits? I'm feeling stony. Nice. I, I feel like flavor-wise, the blueberry came through very heavily. Um, Camille also wrote like notes of raspberry and lemonade. I definitely get that, that lemon taste from it. Okay. Um, and then I wrote, like, there was an instant, like, when I hit the first, my first bowl, there was an instant head rush, um, and I feel like behind the eyes, it's really heavy. Um, I, I feel like we're hitting things down. Um, yeah, I like it. Definitely feel like this would be more in like dog houses range, but I guess it is. Like, it's hot to talk about, but. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I think my flavor profile is probably my favorite out of, uh, out of everything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, now flavor. When you rate that, what would you give this out of 10? I'd give it, I'd give it like an 8.5, I think. Just because the lemony is sticking around longer than I expected. And okay. it's making me feel... I don't know, like creative and like lemons remind me of like daytime and spring and all of that. So like I feel almost in that mood just because it's sticking around and stuff. Okay. I feel like, I feel like the tree is kind of like the charcuterie board or, or like a ratatouille when he's eating the, the cheese and the and the raspberry all at once and he's like, ooh, it's a new world. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay, now, <clears throat> do you think... This is something <laughs> that might be better in a joint or <laughs> in glass. I think I would dig this in a joint. Okay, because we do have the, um, uh, what is the name again? It's sweet. Like it's sweet berry. Oh, sour berry. S sour, sour berry. Because we do have the sour berry right now in pre-roll form from Lilac City, and it was on sale today. Um, I almost thought about getting one sour berry pre-roll and one sour berry flower, but I was like, I'd rather just get more um, different options. Um, but, okay, very fair. Um, now, 
immediately, would you consider this more of a head high or a body high? I'd say head high for me. Yeah. Definitely more in the head. If anything, I could feel a little bit loosey goosey in my shoulders, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely more of a head high than a body high. Okay. I've also heard of, of, I, one other, two other strains earlier before getting on the podcast, so I'm also still feeling those. So I feel like it kind of, it added like a cherry on top of the mixture that I've had tonight. Okay, okay, okay. Now, when it comes to uplifting versus sedative, what which one do you think this leans? I'm uplifted. Okay. I agree. I'm not, I'm not ready for bed. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to do some scrapbooking or something. Yeah. Like get into a show. Okay, what show would you watch? Go, five. Four, three, two, um, one. I was gonna say the same one because we're like, we watching that. We have two episodes <laughs> left right now, and I'm excited for it. <laughs> okay, okay. And it's really creative. It's a really fun, wacky show. Yeah. What is the premise? Uh, have you seen Adventure Time? Yes. It's it's that, but it's gender swapped, and um, Finn is an adult woman. And it's a little more, you know, and it's a cat instead it's of a dog. cat instead of a dog. Um, uh, and it's it's so fun. Okay. Cake, 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 yeah. And and you do see um, there's like time cake traveling. <laughs> wow. Okay. Same creator, same animated. It's a, it's it's more. It's very much more adult. Like there's a lot more. I I think they they, they realize that uh, you know that the audience that. Like, watched Adventure Time grew up and now they're they're kind of giving it back to us wrapped yeah. up in a little bow and the jokes are more dull and yeah you know it's just it's it's wonderful it makes me cry all the time <laughs> it's it's so good it's just, it's okay so good. cry from laughing or emotion laughing, tears like there's there's like the first episode the cat like goes missing and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> We need to make sure this cat is okay. What realm is he in? Like, and, and they 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 have the perfect timing. The, the, the episodes are like twenty five minutes each, but they, nice. they cut it at the perfect timing. Where I'm like, damn, now I have to stay up. I can't no. go to bed. I have to find out what's gonna happen to this damn cat. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. What's the name of this? Uh, Fiona and Cake. Fiona. Okay. Fiona and Cake. Big shout out to Fiona and Cake. Um, okay, excellent. All righty. Um, love that. And then thank you, Hedy and Camille. And then Chuck Light, how are we feeling so far off that native? Uh, I'm chilling. It was, uh, it's not bad. Like, it is definitely not my preference. Uh, it went out, and I just. I decided I was done with it. I wasn't even halfway there. Cha! It, was, it wasn't even halfway smooth. I'm sorry, man. I was just, I was like, you know, like, it, taste wise, it was not a pleasurable smoking experience. Hmm. You know, and I know I had better options just here in my center console. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> is this better than like Kelso Creeper? Definitely. Is this better than Northwest Oval Bar? hundred percent. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. If there's a screen from this that, you know, I'm like, wow, I really like the genetics of this. I'm gonna grab it. I would empty it out and put it into a bowl. Because I would say at least seventy percent of that joint felt like flour where towards the base, you know, it felt like they put in a bunch of filler because I mean they probably don't expect anybody to smoke it down that far. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it's all right. I'm relaxed. I'm collected. I like that know. term, collected. But I'm not, I'm not stoked. I'm not lit, you know, like, I'm just chill. Okay. Chill. Do you think, so you, you would say that you'd rather smoke something that is a 10 out of 10 and take two hits? rather than endure smoking something like this for the entire joint. Because if you're, if you're going for a lighter experience, is, um, what is what I'm meaning? I mean, I'm definitely a quality over quantity kind of guy. 
guy. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, I would I would definitely say I would rather take you know two nice ribs of something like good good. But you know, like if you're going disc golfing, you're going outside, or you know you're smoking people up. This was what they were point sevens or four. So nine. they are sorry. Point seven fives. Point seven fives. Okay, so for the price and how much you get, yeah, I would definitely like you know take it to a party, be like, hey, y'all, you know, you don't normally buy weed, smoke this, whatever, you know. Um, I would even pass them around the concerts, you know, right. just to have something going around. But this is not something that I would personally buy for my own personal uses. Okay. Okay. Now, would you say that this is something that, like you said, it's a, it's a pack, and although the quality is not there, the one thing I might say is there's only four in here. So even like, you know, for smoking people up, it, it's got to still be a smaller group. You know what I'm saying? Now, the competition, Kelso Creeper and High Guys and Northwest Cultivar, same amount, but they're much less. You know what I mean? This way, you could, you could get two of those for the, you know what I'm saying, depending on which one. You know what I'm saying? So would you think that that still stands, you know, on the same playing field as those that are, that costs less under it. No, because like I said earlier, um, I think they're actually better. Like, I've had Northwest Cultivar in the past for, for certain strains that I liked, and you know, I got burnt knowing that the whole inside was shaking trim. And I've had Kelso Creeper, and they're, they're okay, they can be a little harsh. Right. Um, I don't think this was harsh at all, you know, but I really didn't get much flavor out of it at all. Gotcha. And it smelled pretty grassy. It did smoke pretty even, but it did put itself out. Right. Okay. But it was just, you know, it was just breathing in smoke. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, there's no yes. ambiance and, to it. And that's, and that's something that kind of gets me a little bit. If I'm going to be doing harm to my lungs by smoking anything, I better be getting something from it. You know what I'm saying? I better be getting something from it, hundred um, percent. Very, very, very fair. Okay, thank you, Chuck Light. Um, and then I'm gonna get us started with the scale of one through ten. Would you recommend this little guy is the Zope from Doghouse? I'm gonna take one more hit. Let's see. Oh, it's also oh, my baby blue lighter went out. R.I.P. to my baby blue. Baby <laughs> <coughs> also, also R.I.P. Ness as always. <coughs> also, big shout out to R.I.P. Shout out Chuck. Chuck, who you want to give an R.I.P. Shout out to? Go. Oh man. Right now, let's. Somebody famous? Nope. Somebody who it applies to you. R.I.P. Shout out right now. Go. Grandpa for sure. Who? Grandma. Grandpa. 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 Big shout out, Grandpa. What's his name? Yes, Sherman. Yes, big shout out Sherman. Wow, Sherman like big shout out. All right, Hetty, who are you giving an RIP shout out to? Ooh, Iris April. She uh, died earlier this week. Fashion icon of New York. Um, she was 102. Right, right. She lived such a great life, and she was sharp as a tack up until her last days. So wow. Rest in peace to her. <laughs> RIP Iris. RIP Iris. Damn. Legendary, um, and Camille. I mean, yes, Camille. Um, <laughs> uh, would you use your RIP shout out track, Camille? We recently got. I'm forgetting the name, of course, but we recently got a book on the collection of the history of trolls, like the little troll dolls. Okay. And I want to shout out RIP to the person who created troll dolls. Wow, they passed. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, damn. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. But, it's, but still, that's okay. Big shout out to the trolls. Um, that's crazy. I actually had troll dolls. Okay, nevertheless. Um, very fair. Um, thank you, uh, Hedy and Camille and Chuck. Um, and this is the Zope from Doghouse. The only thing I've really written on here was slightly woody and slightly tough to smoke on the podcast. 
I said there's a little bit of like sweet raspberry, just a tiniest bit, 15%. Um, flavor, I gave it a 6 out of 10. Smoothness, I'm also going to give it a 6 out of 10. As far as the high, I wrote, rather listen then, and then nothing else. Literally nothing else. Now, easily distracted, but for good reason. I'm going to try and write this down really quickly. <laughs> easily distracted, but for good reason. If I do not walk myself through the steps, they, the steps will not be completed. So, easily distracted. What was I going to say? Easily distracted, um, but with good reason. Sorry. But as you can see, very spotty, very spacey. Um, I do... I do like the high. It's hard to be bored when you smoke on like a solo session when you are under these types of influences. So I do enjoy them, which is great for like the end of the night. You Or which is great if you're out and about and you are somewhere and you don't have access. Unfortunately, 2000, we're so spoiled. We have access to watch anything, anywhere at any time. You know what I'm saying? But God forbid you didn't have any technology. If you were in the woods or whatever, what have you, I think this would be awesome. Um, I think that overall smoking experience, if I had to give it a scale of 1 through 10 just for that, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10, like I said. Um, and my body feels great. It's definitely more of a body high than it is a head high. I'm thoroughly enjoying the podcast. Because I was going to write rather listen than um, write, fill out form. Rather listen to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Super intrigued in what y'all are saying. Really feel receptive. Trying to listen. You know what I'm saying? This is like, or I should say, not trying to listen. Eager to listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually more eager to listen than to speak, despite how much I'm rambling. Um, if I had to give this more uplifting or sedative, it, 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 the uplifting tendencies do just edge it out. Like they edge it. It's probably like 8 out of 10. Watch, I'm lying. 9 out of 10. Um, and then as far as the sedative, they're like a six out of 10, you know what I'm saying? So they're close, but not really all the way. If I had to do more head on or body, I have, I probably have to do definitely more body on. Um, and then as far as creative, I do find this as a creative strain. Um, I, I think that this is, it's not as Pictionary, it's not as imaginative, you know what I'm saying, necessarily, um, in my mind, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll, I'll say Bob Ross painting sometime, but I feel like, like I said, from from what I'm receiving stimulus wise, that sparks that little, you know what I'm saying, cloud of creativity, you know what I mean? Um, but without that, it's hard to spark that, you know, cloud, but nevertheless, spark that cloud. Hey, but nevertheless, um, <laughs> um, would I, I would consider this definitely not functional. I don't think that this is a functional you know, type of experience. Um, although this put, has put me in a good mood, I would say this is mood enhanced. This is also, I, I don't know. I just, I just kind of feel like I'm, I'm too spotty. I'm too spacey. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want to be responsible for anything. Also, to the, the idea and concept of a split lip. I have a split lip. And it is the most annoying thing in the world. This dry mouth is not helping my split lip. Nevertheless, so I so as far as the negative, I would say definitely try not to smoke with a split lip. Also, I should just remind myself to not get a split lip. Very difficult to do so. If you have any pro tips and tricks on how to re prevent getting split lips for the rest of your life, and like there are some people who get that tattooed, you are the most righteous person in the world. The most shout out to you. Whoever has their the center lip of their, the, oh my God, um, you're, yeah, different breed, but nevertheless, um, yeah, this is great. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this a very, hey, for the top shelf price as well, I'm going to go ahead and give this a very solid 8 out of 10. Um, it's not, actually, this is 7 out of 10. Like I said, I just wish, you, you, it's hard to get an 8 out of 10 when the smoke experience is a 6 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to break it down like that. Um, but Doghouse, great job. Do you need this? No. They don't need this. They can keep the peanut butter yaya. They can keep the lemon cherry jajish. You got to have the star killer. You got to have the headband. 
You don't need the Gorilla Glue number four. And I'm going to say it again. They don't need the Gorilla Glue number four. What about the Scooby Snacks? They can keep the Scooby Snacks. <laughs> And send me 30, 100 units of that Scooby Snacks as well in gram form. Thank you, Doghouse. Um, big shout out to Doghouse. And also, um, for all the customers out there who are fall in love with the product and they want to know how they can find it at all times, email the processor, or the, I'm sorry, the farm. Email them. You'll be so surprised. The stories I've been hearing as of lately. So, even, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, for instance, there was a customer, long story short, his wife only uses a certain product. She fell in love with it. It completely changes her life on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Without it, she's just, she struggles without it. Let's just say that. Um, and I told him to email him. I was like, email him and see what they say. Email him and be like, hey, can I get a special, you know, not to say hookup, but long story short, he ended up emailing them and, and kind of relaying that story. Um, and, and that company and brand, you know what I'm saying, actually responded and was like, hey, you know, let's see what we can work out. You know what I mean? So it's a beautiful thing. It's a really beautiful thing. And, and that could even mean making sure that we have it at all times. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily skipping the middleman, but you know what I'm saying? Saying, hey, high five cannabis is the one closest to my house. You know what I'm saying? X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, they listen. You know what I'm saying? That, that type of shit can work. So, you know, closed mouth doesn't get fed and the squeaky wheel gets the grease. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Just with that being said, big shout out to all of our customers as always. Um, and all of our farms and inventory as always. Um, and it seems as though we're next. Hetty and Camille, what are we thinking? Scale of one through ten. You know, overall, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a solid eight. Because the smoking experience was great. I feel very spacey. I feel very creative. I definitely wouldn't want to do anything where I need to like focus. Um, it's like a squirrel stream. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because I'm forgetting stuff, but I'm like very excitable. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I just, I love the way this shit tastes. Um, I love the way it smells. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm feeling good. It's it's. I was expecting it to not be as tasty, but it's really really tasty. And I, because I'm so surprised by that, I think I'm gonna stick with the 8.5 okay. with what I gave it for like smell and stuff, just because it, like the smell is, the taste is just as strong as the smell, but probably even better and the lasting effects slash like what I'm feeling is it went from being like more creative to like more relaxing but still wanting to be creative at the same time and still very spacey like you said and so like I it's like, like a bouncy. squirrel like <laughs> just go with it okay let's be interested in this thing and then let's be interested in this thing and yeah that's how I'm feeling <laughs> excellent excellent okay do you think the show has enough like because i know shows like rick and mark there's so much going on do, do you think that would be in grace of this high or do you think that might be something that or do you think that might be something that might not be as much fun no i think this is this is great because this kind of shows have that that bouncy like quick-witted let's they, you know, there, the there's going. a lot of like cliffhangers, so you yeah. just go from ending one really dramatic scene that makes you like, oh my god, what is gonna happen to like them doing a whole different new thing within the same episode? And I'm like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> this is roller Let's do it. Yeah, that I feel like this would be great for any kind of like animated jumpy show. Like the Midnight Gospel would be good with the stranger. Yeah, like you said, Rick and Morty. I'm, I'm not. I, haven't really watched a lot of it but like i know they're kind of the adult swim you know category yes <laughs> so, yeah definitely okay okay excellent very very good that's um one of my favorite reviews by y'all very very lovely um okay. big shout out to the sour berry from lilac and like i said in the top shop so now would you say you said it's more doghouse level but still top house quality i said top house <laughs> but still top shelf quality yeah, I mean, 
Tommy Little Doghouse is top shelf, so, you know. They're right. Just, they're just a little bit more to, you know, the higher range side, um, or the, at least Lilac tends to be. Um, I, I'd say they're, they're about the same, but they, they give us different experiences, and um, that's something to be grateful for, you know, like you were talking about with, with Doghouse, that they have some strains that they do absolutely killer. Right. Um, which isn't the DG4. Uh, <laughs> um, unless you're Maryland. But, um, <laughs> granted. granted. Uh, shout out to Maryland. Shout out to Maryland. <laughs> James. <laughs> that was good. Um, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I, I've had some stuff by Lilac in the past that I haven't been too impressed with. And so this is like the first time that I've been like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Maybe I might look at them a little bit more um, yeah. when they come in. So, yeah. 8.5. Mm-hmm. I definitely, if I was a customer and I have tried this before, I definitely would be looking for it in the in the case. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Okay, very, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, thank you, Heidi and Camille. Um, and because you thought you were safe, what's your favorite dish with ginger, Camille? Five. Four, three, two, one. It's a, go, it's, go, go. Sushi. Okay. Because <laughs> I've had it recently. Sushi. Excellent. What's your favorite sushi roll? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. I think one. the dragon roll or like the rainbow roll. I don't know. Some places do it so different with like whatever they name it. Okay. Um, you like anything with noodle sauce? Yeah. So do sauce. I. <laughs> salmon and like i don't know it's just avocado. also good there's this one place that cuts an avocado in half um bakes it with like crab on it and it's just it's so good and it's delicious um but yeah sushi okay have you been to thai orchid thai orchid no yes it's in vancouver washington actually i used to work there <laughs> I'm gonna write it. I think you've mentioned it before. Oh my god, yes. They have incredible sushi chefs and a sushi bar that is phenomenal. And we have a majority of the things you just mentioned as well. Really, really great. And it's a Thai restaurant, but they have a sushi bar. Yeah. Okay. It's like, cool. it's like, so they have like a double whammy. Yes. It's a little. You had Thai and your. And yes. Your and your Pat Key Mao. Big shout out to the Pat Key Mao. That's my favorite. Big shout out to the Pat Key Mao at Thai Orchid. And um, Josh. Go in there and ask for Josh. <laughs> That's the GM. <laughs> big shout out to Josh. Um, very, very. Big. And big shout out to Cat. That's the owner. Big shout out to Cat. Um, we love a woman of power and love ownership. Her. We love that. Um, she's the bomb.com. But nevertheless, um, thank you, Hedy and Camille. And um, isn't it, it's national. What is it, national? Um, Women's Month, uh, Women's History Month. Yeah. Beautiful. Big shout out to Women's History Month as well in the month of March. Excellent. And Chuck Light, what are we thinking so far? Scale of one through ten. Uh, I'm not ready. I want to be fair about it, but I. I want to give it a five. Fair. I want to give it a five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, is it better than some other options? Yes. Is it my jam? No. No. Okay. Okay. Very fair. Very fair. No. Okay. Now, Chuck Light, because you thought you were safe. Hmm. Hmm. What is your favorite dish with turmeric? Go. Oh, turmeric. I like some four, braised kale with turmeric and and uh, a little olive oil seasoning or not seasoning, but you know, dressing up on there. Yes. Uh, okay. and then you put some of the uh. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, you, no, literally, literally. Like, like it was. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, it's funny. It's, uh, come on, guys. Yeah. What? 
situation where the <laughs> He said some mushroom <laughs> shit. And Chuck Light, but very fair, nevertheless. Um, okay. Also, big shout out to Kale. I need I need to give a big shout out, but also a pro tip. I've been putting kale in my wraps at the restaurant. And with roasted garlic. Roasted oh. garlic in a wrap in each bite. The garlic like permeates the mouth and their whole cloves. It has changed my life. But one thing that has hindered my experience, the kale. They're cooking down the kale, but leaving it in large pieces and not cutting it. Kale, you cannot bite into kale in a wrap and pull out. It's all just going to come out in each piece. Yeah. Ribbon and chiffonade your kale before you put it in my fucking wrap. I'm going to do it tomorrow just to show them what I want when it's done. Uh, but also, that's how we should be doing it for the customers. Long story short. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, like, eating isn't just about flavor. It's about the experience and the, the, the mechanics of it. Speaking of which, the Supper Club is at Beaverton Swaggart tomorrow. India won for the Culture of the Month um, for March. And, of course, I'm bringing everyone back to my home ground and my homecoming at Beaverton Swaggart. It's going to be a wonderful occasion. Um, so, nevertheless, um, thank you, Chuck Light. And it seems as though this has brought us to a close. I want to give a big shout out to everybody smoking weed and rocking and rolling and loving Mary Jane. Um, remember to say hi and humble. Thank you to my coworkers and colleagues. As always, y'all the bomb.com. That's that's the phrase of the day for this, the bomb.com. Um, but it seems as though I said that already. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Peace.